Does it? Mm -hmm. mm, doesn't smell good at all. It smells like a fart. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Hannah's here with me. I just got back from um, dropping her off at school, and while she was at school, I went to the Dollar Tree. I don't like her now. I know. I love the Dollar Tree. But I wanted to give you guys some ideas for baskets with Dollar Tree products because everybody loves being financially responsible. We love saving money, and we also love giving gifts that people love. So. I love this one. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you this one. You guys, what cry. woman or girl or man or boy or whoever loves pink would not freaking love this basket? It is so full of pink goodness, it's not even funny. Look at it. It's overflowing <laughs> with pink goodness and gold, and beauty, and I love it. And grace. Oh, it's, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's a llama right there. Llama llama, llama drama mama. All right, let me go ahead and break it down for you so you guys can see what is in this huge basket full of goodies. All right, so first we're gonna start out with what was in front of the basket. This is the cutest little notebook I've ever seen. Adorable. These I've never seen at the Dollar Tree. They don't smell the greatest, honestly. It smells like poison. But it's very pretty, and it's got this little silver dangly charm there in the front. It's really pretty, though. All right, so the first thing that is hanging here is this um, little bath bomb. They had tons of them. You could get unicorns. I didn't see any donuts though. That's a clue into my next basket that I'm doing for you. I'm doing two baskets today. Um, they didn't have any uh, donuts or cupcakes, which I was looking for, but this is pretty cute. It's a um, heart They usually have mermaid bomb. tails. Sometimes. They did have a mermaid tail, but it was oh. broken. Oh. So just as filler, these pink rose petals. They're so pretty. So that's what's gonna fly out all over the place as I open this up. <laughs> Got this really cute hot pink hairbrush. I got this body wash that smells amazing. I don't even like Dollar Tree body washes. This one is the Daily Defense. I'll probably use this. It is so it smells amazing. It smells just like um, rose smells just like my rose petals uh, essential oils. Yes, it does. It does. It smells exactly like rose petals. I think it's made so. Of oils. It is fresh rose essence, daily defense, free of parabens and silicones. That's good. I know. So if you can find one of these. I think honestly, they were restocking. If Yeah, they were restocking when I went in there, but if you can find one of these and you like the smell of roses, now you have to like the smell of roses because it's very highly scented. <laughs> I think it would be good for a bubble bath though. Ooh, can't wait to take one of those. Okay, next. All right, so I picked up these. I thought these were cute. Pop Rocks Crackling Gum. They actually turn into gum. Gum? Yes, Pop Rocks Gum. How fun is that gonna be? Um, this right here I just tied up because it was so big that it wasn't fitting in the basket. So um, this I also got at the Dollar Tree. It came with little hair ties and these little uh, beaded like bracelets. bracelet things. I was going to put it in there, but it didn't fit. <laughs> we had too much stuff. We did. We were overflowing the stuff. So we've got this little pencil case. Sequence. It's that mermaid sequence where you can flip them and stuff. And it goes, fits into a three ring binder. 
Okay, so these are perfect for um, the DIY, um, what is it, the DIY planners that I make with the three ring binder thing from the Dollar Tree. Those would be good to keep yeah. like your planner Pencils stickers. in and your planner stickers, yes. Um, back here I just picked up one of these little manicure sets. I don't know a girl around that couldn't use one of these because I'm constantly searching for stuff to things. scrub. Yeah, <laughs> stuff to scrub my feet, cut my nails, all that stuff. I don't think I can get that out. Oh yes, I can. I think I go carefully. Uh, it's the key ring and pen that gift. This is actually. Really I thought cute. that was really cute. I need to steal this. <laughs> Imagine that. I'm gonna steal everything from this basket. No, she's thing. not. And the donut one. No, she's not. You told! Dang it! You ruined the surprise! No. This is super cute. It's just a pen that's got like a pink grippy and a um, keychain. And it's just in this really pretty fun case, so that's why I got it. Are you gonna cut it out? No. I love this. These are new too. It says be magical and it's got the horn on it with a little wick. So how fun is that? You can definitely have that. I'm not, I mean, I love unicorns, but I'm a grown woman here. I don't mean no unicorn <laughs> stuff. But so these are really cute. They have them in mermaid tails and also bingo heads. <laughs> I don't remember what else but they had a couple of them, so very nice. cute. Look for these over by your candle section. This is such good quality. This is really heavy vinyl. This is what it is. It's from Greenbrier International, so it's Dollar Tree, but I'm telling you guys, this is really thick. This is not the cheap um, makeup bags that they usually have. This is like a vinyl, and the inside is like canvas. So, it, it's like super duper heavy duty. So that one I'm definitely using. Let's see what else we got here. These I've been contemplating on buying and I just couldn't find a reason to buy them. Now you do. I found a reason. So this is just a little notebook. Um, I guess I could open it and show you guys. How sparkly it is. What it is because this is for me anyway, but. Don't open your stuff that you put in gift baskets because that just looks tacky. Oh, okay. I like it. This would make good um, a good insert for a traveler's notebook. Mmm, ideas. So this one's nice and sparkly and shimmery. I really like that. Can I do one? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so this is the photo album. I thought this was really cool to do scrapbooking in. Yes, she said scrapbooking. I was thinking just photos of the kids or photos of you guys or like if you're giving it for Mother's Day, then go ahead and put pictures. Oh, that's just for the front. So you can take this part out and put a picture of you and your mom or your children with a picture that says, you know, Happy Mother's Day Grandma or something. So I thought that was a really good idea to include she said scrapbooking, which would be great, and I said pictures, which especially combine for, the two. Especially for kids, because if you just want to get a little scrapbook. <laughs> that is a good idea, too. Yeah, that is a good if idea. If they like scrapbooking. Yeah. Who knows? Another notebook here, just because I love the notebooks that they have right now. Um, <laughs> it's got a nice hard plastic cover. Keeps everything, um, it's vinyl, so it keeps everything nice and safe. I always have good This notebooks. is from Jot. And then um, this notebook, I think I showed you guys these before. I have a couple of them underneath my desk. Oh. They're the hard cardboard ones. They're really good quality. It's pretty stiff, too. Um, they are really good quality. And you know when it's bad it's quality and when you can go like this. Yeah. I mean, it's really good quality. The paper's nice and thick too, honestly. Mm -hmm. You could probably use a Sharpie on that. Yeah, probably. The paper is really thick. Anyway, this one says be positive in a nice pink shimmery. Goldy color. Gold color. Uh, oh, touch of love, blackberry, and lilac scent. Yes. This I like this because best. it smells like Victoria's Secrets. Um, pure seduction. This is actually really good. Mm -hmm. I like this. 
Mm -hmm. So I have the Victoria's Secrets Pure Seduction Body Spray. So this one um, like coordinates with it. I won't say it smells exactly like it, but it coordinates well with it. So here's all of the um, rose petals. They're so pretty. I love them. You could probably honestly stick these to the notebook. I like people. them better than using any kind of other filler. It's so beautiful and feminine. Okay, um, um, here are some pink nail polishes. Everybody's got to have pink nail polishes. And then I've got, last but not least, these card, or they're not cardboard, they're actually like pressed wood. And let me take this off. They're so cute. He's got a little shimmer going on there, and you know, I just absolutely love flamingos, so stand tall and be fabulous. Stand tall and be fabulous, please, everybody. So, they're nice and thick. Look how thick they are. They're the Jot brand, I believe. No, they're Greenbrier. Yeah, Greenbrier International. But, um, super thick. So, yeah, that's super cute. And then this took me a minute to figure out what it was, honestly. It kind of looks weird. So I was looking at it, I was like, what is that? You guys that? guess what, make them guess. Okay. Right now, guess what it is. Okay, have you guessed yet? It's a flamingo pom-pom. And it's a keychain. That would actually be cute on a traveler's notebook. It is, it's really cute. Once I realized what it was, because at first I was looking at it backwards. <laughs> so I'm looking at this and I'm like, what are we doing here? And then these dang, I was like, what is this? But then I flipped it around and I saw the eyes. I and like, I was like, oh, flamingo. it's a flamingo. How cute is that? I bet half of you guessed like a rhino. <laughs> so anyway, that was my pink basket. Let's move on to my surprise basket. Surprise, she already said it. No. <laughs> it's actually a sweets treats basket. It's not like a, a just donut, donut basket. Let me show like you there's guys. A lot of donuts. <laughs> Horrible. Does it? Mm -hmm. mm, doesn't smell good at all. It smells like a fart. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? <laughs> it does. It smells. <laughs> it does. It smells like a fart. Anyway, so before we move on to the next basket, just to let you know, the pink basket with the filler and the basket was $19. Seriously, for $20, did you see how big and over... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot the two things that were sitting out front of the basket, the candle and the other notebook. So that would have been 20 21 21 bucks for that whole big display. Amazing. No, All right, let's 22. move on. No, 21 No, because it was 19. already 20 when... No, it was 19 It was 19 trust me. I'm the teacher. Uh, a unicorn fart candle. Yes, mm -hmm. unicorn fart candle can be yours. All right, guys, here's idea number two. It is full of sweet treats. So what I did is when I went to the Dollar Tree, I focused on um, like candy or um, donuts or like you'll see that little, see that lip gloss up front as a pineapple. So I kind of went for like a pinky sweet treats vibe. So you guys can always redo the basket too. Like you could paint that white and maybe write like a cute quote on the front or draw a donut or donut worry, be happy. Yes. Something silly like that, you know. So let's go dig into this and see what we've got in this one. Okay, so let's dig into this one. So this one also has a cute little <laughs> thing that you're throwing thing that I throw manicure set to go with it I bought purple for this one just because I thought it was super cute and it kind of brought out all the other colors I didn't want to stick with just pink for this because this is like the sweet treats so I'm gonna bring some other colors in here too so we got a purple one and then let me put all this stuff aside I want to make sure I count the total properly we're not gonna pull that one out okay Oh, you can pull that off, yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought you were pulling the big No, no, no. So uh, we have a cute little pom-pom keychain. Isn't that adorable? It's a little pineapple. It's a pineapple. So I thought that was really cute. Now, of course, you could get, like, if there was a donut one, you could get a donut 
they did have a donut one, but it didn't have like sprinkles or anything. It was just a round really? fuzzy donut, and it was like this big. What the heck? I was like, it looks like a steering wheel. So <laughs> no, we didn't get that. So this is cute. Yeah, I thought that one was really cute. And then I've got just a regular koozie here. They had a whole bunch that had like sayings and phrases on them, but nothing that I thought was like really cute. So I just bought a regular per, um, pink one. These are great because even if you don't like consume alcoholic beverages, these are great for sodas for the summer. If you're outside and you want to, you know, enjoy a cold soda, it's not going to stay cold very long if it's 90 degrees. So these are great for that. Especially for sparkling waters. Yes, that's what exactly what I was thinking. You, you drink go, girl. Sparkling waters. Yes. Um, this I thought was really cute. They have a whole uh, slew of headbands here in different sizes. These are perfect for planner bands. So if you want to use these to put your hair back while you do your makeup or while you wash your face, great. But you can also use these on the sides of your planners or journals to keep them closed. Very cute. Very cute. You want to take some pictures? Uh, sure. Um, let's get this cute gel pen that I am stealing. Um... <laughs> I love this. This is just like a green donut. Did they have other colors? They had, I want to say a yellow donut one, and mm. that was it. I was looking I like for green. pink because it is so freaking cute. The green one is cute. Yeah. So I, thought that I think it adorable. writes green. I don't know. We'll have to see. But this is mine, though. And this one, hello. Hello. That's my kid. Is that cute or what? This is a notebook, Greenbrier International. This is super cute, very sparkly, very shiny, love it. Thief. <laughs> um, this one I thought was adorable too. I've never seen this over there before either. This is a magical unicorn magic candle. It smells, so good. It smells like marshmallows. This is mine. It's called sugared marshmallow. <laughs> it smells like candy. That's why she got it. That's why I got it's it, fine. because I thought it would be cute to put in the sweet goodness bin. Um, Go ahead. Nerds. Nerds. Of course. I liked it because it was colorful. I could have bought anything, really, for the sweet treat, you know, basket, but I bought it because it was so bright and colorful, and that's what plus, I was trying to do with this basket. Plus, they're just delicious. I mean... Hannah can eat them. Like, come on. Yeah. Um, this was from the last basket. I just kind of reused it because I thought it was really cute. Um, but the purple and the black are definitely super cute. And who doesn't love Pop Rocks? Come on now. You want uh, to take one out? Okay, yeah. Um, let's skip this. Yay! How oh. cute is that? So it's a coin purse. It Isn't looks it adorable? like leather, but it's not. It's not. But, like, you can see your little coins in there. Just, you could also use it for like dollars. Yeah. Anything you really want. Or a mm -hmm. gift card. Mm -hmm. You could put a gift card in here and like surprise me. That would be cute too to put a little <laughs> gift card in there. That is cute. <laughs> be like, here. <laughs> Alright, so these two things. This one is a silicone mask applicator. I thought this was pretty cool because you know the other day, honestly, I was applying my mask and I was thinking to myself, I wonder if I washed my hands first because I'm really super anal. Sorry about that word. I'm super anal about washing my hands before I touch my face. Um, not so much my hair, but definitely my face. So before I go to wash my face or like touch my face, I make sure that I wash my hands while I was putting on the silicone, or I was putting on the mask and I was like, oh, I don't know if I washed my face. So I actually took whatever I had on my face already, I wiped it off and washed my hands and then reapplied it. Because I don't like that, I don't want bacteria on my face because that's what causes me to break out. So here comes this applicator that you can wash with hot soap and water after you're done applying your mask and you're not spreading bacteria all over your skin. What a genius idea, hello. And then this one right here, I could not pass up. It's a lip gloss. I personally wouldn't use it because their lip glosses are poop. They're sticky. They're gross. They're like honey. I know. I have a um, diamond one over on my desk. They're just honey. But 
I use it because yeah. they're cute. I don't use it on my lips. I just use it as decoration on my desk. So I thought that little pineapple was cute. So uh, the next thing is pixie sticks. Pixie sticks, pure sugar. <laughs> now, actually, the serving size is four, and I wouldn't suggest that. I know. No, that would make you, like, cray-cray. It would. It would make you all sorts of hyper. Okay, so last but not least, here we have this fun apple. Oh, it actually more. matches. Oh, there is a couple things. I forgot. It's it actually so matches good. this right here. Isn't that cute? It's the like same a little matchy-matchy, and it's got the sprinkles, too. So that should be for Hannah's room because Hannah's got a sprinkle theme room. Yeah, that's, I think I'm going to put it on my door that would so be that cool. when people come in, they're like, oh, there's a pineapple. There's a pineapple. Um, so, yeah, that match. And then I forgot that I also included these in this gift basket, too. Because you can use those. Like because, yeah. hello, they're adorable. All right, so for this basket, let me count up. We've got $2 here, 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 dollars for the whole thing. You can't get better than that, guys. And they come together so well that the presentation is just really big. So you don't have to spend money to get a big presentation from a gift basket. So, um, I encourage you, go to your Dollar Tree, see what you can get. Um, like I've said before with gift baskets, keep a general theme or color, and that's what's going to make the gift basket spectacular. You could also make it Easter. You could. You could make a springtime or Easter basket, absolutely. Um, another thing with gift baskets is... When you pick like a theme, it doesn't have to be the same color. It can be the same theme or same color. So the first one, I bought all pink stuff and it looked gorgeous and it had everything in it from hairbrushes to um, a door hanger. You know, it was, it was just scattered. The second one, the theme was sweet treats. So I went with all different colors. I kept, you know, not a color scheme. I went with all different colors but they all represented like sweet treats or something. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Uh, like and subscribe. Don't miss any videos. This is Hannah. She's over on the channel. Pets and me. Pets and me. Go subscribe to her. And we will see you in our next video. Bye.